Hello and uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, my, my video uh, 101 about uh, the PLL device. Somehow it felt it was not really finished. I, I did make a very nice box and everything and it's all, uh, but now I really installed it and I thought, okay, I, I wanted to show you the, the project as well. And uh, yeah, as you saw, it had a serial port. I actually have one serial port still on my uh, Dell computer. So uh, I used that one, but it was already taken by my uh, GPSDO. <laughs> and as you can see, the, the my and my uh, data is coming in. So uh, I will switch over with the switch. And then I show you a little bit that uh, that we actually can change the frequency and everything. And as you can see, it found a nice spot just on top of the other uh, distribution amplifier. So, okay, as you can see, I uh, installed it right here. It is connected to external reverence, the serial port and the power. The power is of course connected to my 12 volts uh, on board. Here is the frequency counter. You see this port is uh, programmed to 50 megahertz. And it's exactly because of course it's on the external reference. So uh, I close my uh, GPS program. Then I have here my shortcut. I need to switch over and first put to English. Then we can do open port and then it will quickly read ploof and I can zoom in maybe you can see that the port 4 is to 50 megahertz as you can see right there. So so what I will do and this is great this this PLL and it has multiple ports and as you can see this one is almost full so uh, for 10 megahertz. So uh, I can program these also for 10 megahertz when this is uh, really completely full. And a certain ports I can just program to any value. Like here, I will put a little bit faster. Uh, here you have the 50 megahertz, but uh, if I want also this for 10, then I just say 10 megahertz program. program complete and you don't see because this is the lower port so I need to do uh, 20 and I don't need to change the ports 20 megahertz program buff 20 and uh, so sometimes I think this one has uh, 25 or 50 megahertz reference so then you could could also use uh, this one on the on the reference and you can go anywhere between very low and then i will change the port later but first let's go up if uh maybe you want a, a reference for 100 buff you put 100 megahertz or uh let's go crazy let's put 200 megahertz path so this is really, really convenient. You can just quickly, yeah, it's like having, uh, and it's all connected to the GPSDO. So you, you just have a program, programmable uh, frequency standard, which is pretty cool. I like to see how low it goes, uh, to be honest, because I haven't tested yet. So, uh, uh, let's go to the B channel, we can put a little bit, uh, and then it's gone. Okay, 100 megahertz. That is uh, more, uh, the limit also. So that's why you don't see. So let's go back to 50. 50. Okay. Now we try to go very low just to see. So uh, 10 megahertz should be possible in this board. And as you can see, 10 is 10. 
yeah this is uh this is already in the because if i switch off the lsd oh, 0 0.1 hertz and if i do switch it on then it's even lower so this is 10 um let's do one megahertz if we want that why not and then we can also do a half it should go to uh, Yes, and when I'm done, I just switch uh, back over to the GPS and then I can uh, at least see the status, how is the reception and uh, things like that. Or it's very nice to see how many satellites you have in reach and how strong they are just to be sure that your antenna is still working fine. So oh, that's it. That was the free programmable six port uh, PLL. I think this this was just the last part that I needed to add to the video, but uh, I didn't. So uh, I did that with uh, this one. If you got uh, interested about this device, then um, it is video uh, 101 and video 76, I believe. I will put the links in the, in the bottom. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.